Hey, I'm Chris with Hume DIY and today we're building the backyard office. Let's jump right into it. Starting out here, we are laying out our foundation and these are two by tens. And I'm gonna start out by making sure that it's straight from the back of my house to looking at the office. So that when you look at it, it looks straight. It looks like it's not crooked. So we're gonna square up this real quick and rough. And we're doing that by measuring corner to corner and now we are going to put little orange flags here just to mark the corners so I know where to dig. And this is where our footings are going to go. Now you just need to remove the topsoil here and then we'll put rock in a second. All right, next up we got our tough blocks. And just to be clear, I never used them before, but I have used a deck with um, normal footings, well, wood footings. People use concrete ones, but they have a problem with wicking up water and ruining your wood. With these, they don't do that. They're also super light. A concrete one, I cannot be doing this. So they're easy to install. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it. Here's where we're going to put our rock down. I got this rock from, you know, the local store. And we're gonna make sure everything's level, which it's obviously not. But we'll get to that in a second. Here's the rock throwing in just a good amount to cover the area. And then we're gonna hit it down Make sure you get it down really good. Use a shovel or use a, a, a tool to do it. Um, and there we got our top box right there. Now we're moving on to what our foundation is going to sit on, which is this four by four block. And this fits perfectly in the top block, but make sure you get a notch going. So we're going to be starting with this side of the deck which is the highest point and I'm going to be lifting up only a little bit. This is three inches um, and this is eight inches, which is the height of my joist right here. So we have a tough block right here on the corner. The joist is going to sit on the post right here. So make sure you do that so it's just not connecting to your hardware and your hardware is holding it up. So we're going to lift it up a little bit there and then it's going to sit this way. So that's so that fits really nicely. And then this is gonna sit like that. That is too tall. All right, there we go. Now this is sitting on the front part of the joist, which this is gonna be where all the joists hang. So we're gonna have joists going this way and we're gonna put the hangers on there, which I will show you pretty soon. But before we do that, we're gonna temporarily seal this down um, with a couple screws or a screw and then We'll come back and put real hardware in here and a structure bolt from this side of the joist, which isn't currently sitting on this. Next up, we're going to be leveling this deck here. It's not a deck, it's a small office build, but this is the foundation, so we need to make sure it's level. And so we have the one over there, and now we're going to do this side. So we're basically going to go from this corner to this corner to the back corner. And it's in the back corner back there. Yeah, that back corner is at the lowest part of the property. We're gonna do that. It'll be easier if you have more than one person, but you know, I'm by myself right now, so it's gonna have to do. All right, that's close. Four and three quarters that we're doing there. Um, so we're going to cut it off basically the same exact way. One more right. <laughs> now that we got that leveled off, it's time for the back corner here. Now this is going to be the biggest change here. All right, we got it. All righty, let's talk about something really important. This video is brought to you by Build Tough. You can use this with a um, two inch, two inch joist here, goes this way, or you can use it with one inch joist, which go this way. My arm, not very good joist. Um, or you can use it with a four inch block. This is recycled material, but it's super durable and it can hold weight up to 1700 pounds. And the breakage weight on this is way more, it's like 10,000. So I'm really confident in this solution. If you're interested in checking it out, link in the bio, of course. 
and we will continue on with the build. But first, I'm just kidding, I just did a sponsored video. <laughs> we have more to put on the foundation. It's not just gonna be these four spots, right? So on Build Tough's website, they have plans for you. If you don't know how to build a deck, if you don't know how to build a foundation for a mini office, backyard office, a shed, then check on there. They have plans and they tell you where to put these. They tell you how many to put and they tell you what the best practices are. We're doing things a tiny bit different. So we have four in the corner and then I'll show you where else we're gonna put them on the joist and for supports to make sure that this thing is completely sturdy. But before we do, we gotta do this back corner and then we'll go from there. So let's get it. We got our board and I just wanted to show you that this, it doesn't have to be that perfect. We'll just want the joist to sit on here and then that will do all the work. All right, this is a little bit off, so I'm just using a little, uh, what do you call these? A little um, stem? Ah, I can't remember. I'll think of it in a second. I'm just using one of these, putting it under. Oh, it's called a shim. Let's hope it's not too out of whack. Perfect. It's 38. Perfect. Bingo. And guess what you do? You like it? Yeah, I like it. Got it again. Now we gotta plan our joist and the rest of our footings. So I'm gonna be measuring 16 on center for the rest of the joist, which are two by tens, and measure both sides so that your joist can be straight. Now I'm digging the other footings, and once again, topsoil, rock, pat it down, tough block. So if you're wondering about what you do to level the tough blocks, not much. You just level it by eye. And this is what they say on their site. So make sure it's level by the eye. And if you can see here, this one is looking a little tilted. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of move the rocks, patten it down again. Actually, I need to add more rocks, I think. Just gonna move it a little bit. Once it looks good with the eye, now I need to make sure that's flat still. But you get the point. Just do it with your eye. Make sure it's flat and any consistency will be fixed by the post that you put under it or if it's just a joist. So it's not a huge deal. Don't spend forever doing it, but make sure you spend a little bit of time doing it. So there's that. Here we got the corner post that you've seen me set up. And then we have one here. And remember the joists are gonna go this way. So this will be kind of the load bearing. That will be kind of the load bearing. And we'll have the corners. We'll have a support there, support there support in the middle and then one there and one there so if you wanted to you could go more and tough block does say that build a sturdy deck so get more use more uh, make sure your deck your foundation is sturdy because um, if your foundation is sturdy then your whole project's going to be a bust and you don't want that so i'm confident in the weight carrier of this I'm confident in the design of it we should be good moving forward and speaking about moving forward let's get the rest of these posts set up and I'm gonna start with the edges and then I'll do the joist and get the last one. Alrighty, we got all the joists set in a temporary state. Now we gotta finish the um, middle row of the post and then we'll do the joist hanger. So let's get these done. Got all the tough blocks in, now let's take a look at them. Here's your corner, corner post here. That one. Back here. That one. All right, next up we have our joist hangers, which are used to stabilize the deck, the foundation. Um, they're used to make it strong. So make sure you do these if you're doing 
a foundation like this. And I go one on each joist, and then we have these. These, these are one and a half inch framing nails that will go into it. Looks like this, and then it's got, I don't know what that's called, but that goes, you hit it, it goes directly into the wood, and then you got your holes, pre-built holes there, pre-drilled. I don't have my builder here, so I'm gonna use my gun, gun ones. Alrighty, welcome back to another day where we are working on my outdoor office. Now we have we have the rest of the foundation to finish, so we're gonna start off here by screws. These are four and a half. Oh wait. I got other screws that I need. These are two by seven, two and seven and eighths inch. And these are structural screws. Here I'm gonna put these on all the um, posts here, and then we're gonna nail gun in everything. So that's one down, on this side, two on this side, and then we'll just keep going down that way. Alrighty, next up we got here are the nails, and these are galvanized, so they're good for the pressure treated wood. Make sure you galvanize if you're using pressure treated wood. So we have these and my nail gun, which I haven't used in like maybe a year now, which is crazy because I was using it every day there for a few months. Alrighty, we got all this nailed in, screwed in. Alright, next up here we're going to insulate the flooring with this floor. Now this is R5, I believe, one inch R5. This one doesn't say it. This is only part of the whole sheet. They come in four by eight sheets and they can easily snap apart, but I need to cut it down further since I'm doing 16 on center and this is 16 inches wide. So I got to fit it in between the joists these up that I cut and so we're gonna put two on this side and two on the far side and then we're gonna put those there and hope they stay and hope that doesn't just bend out of shape it's pretty rigid so we're gonna hang them two inches maybe about two and a little bit two and a sixteenth down below the joist and then try it so let's try it Basically, you're just going to cover the gaps in here. Now that the subframe is done for the backyard office, if you want to see how I framed out the rest of it in detail, how I did the electrical, the interior, and get a full tour of the build, head over to Hume DIY to check it out. Now, let's go through the rest of it. Next up, we go to our walls. Now, three of the walls are eight feet tall and the front wall is 10 feet tall. And so that is going to be our roof slope. So this is a lean two roof and it's really simple to do. I use two by sixes and I use the same size for both the ceiling joists and the rafters. Now I'm gonna go to the wall sheathing, the stuff it's heavy and it continues to get heavier. <laughs> um, we're just doing wall sheathing, making sure everything's nailed in nice and tight. I got our friend out to do the roof sheathing, which was super helpful. And I'm gonna wrap up the siding. Now from this point, my roof is also wrapped and I do shingles, but I'm not showing it in this video because it's just shingles. 
Um, so we got it wrapped. Now we're going on to the sliding door and the window, and it definitely helps to have someone for this part that has some muscles like my wife does. And so we get those in, and then you gotta get the real muscles for the siding here. This hardy siding is no joke, super heavy. Be careful with it. I use a couple nails on the bottom of it to kind of hold it in place and then get my nail gun to nail it in. So we got our electrical going up, we got the siding getting done, and we got our waterproofing happening, and we also got our trim going on. Hey, welcome back. We're painting this today. Let's get it. Just a second. And there you go. This is the tiny office. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's jump inside real quick though. We have insulation. Gotta have insulation. It's Texas, super hot. And we do our roof, I mean our ceiling, and we're doing plywood here. Uh, this is a quarter inch plywood, but it's still stupid heavy doing it above your head. And then we have half inch wood plywood going in. Not as hard, but kind of a pain with the outlet. Oh, it's cold. Hey there, welcome to the inside of the office. Now that it's pretty much done, you know, always 99% done, we have the walls, we've got the desk, we got the computer, we got the chair, the chair, we got the ceiling, and we got AC how about that now for the last thing on our foundation are these ties and these ties got from Amazon they are just supposed to help tie down the foundation the whole building to the ground and they're super easy to install already now that's tied down so we got two on the big two on the small and it's looking good so I'm excited now I guess we're basically done oh Alrighty, we're all done. Tiny backyard office build. It's awesome, I love it. The tiny deck, tiny office, it's perfect. Um, thank you again to Build Tough and their product Tough Block. Super awesome, thank y'all. And make sure you go subscribe to their channel, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video. See you later, and I'll see you out there.